Hello everybody, my name is Graham Elwood and you are watching The Political Vigilante. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, watch the ads all the way through. When you click skip ad, I don't get paid. A lot of dark news going on right now in the pandemic, a lot of stuff, but I try to find positive stories and there's a lot of them out there. What this pandemic is doing actually is forcing people to get creative, to think of new ideas and new ways to help people. And what things realizing, all that, remember just two months ago? How are we gonna pay for it? Socialism is scary. Uh, now the people that, we're not hearing that, how are we gonna pay for it? Now people are like, eh, socialism might not be this bad, crazy thing. Maybe it's, and it's being explained. No, it's not, socialism is not like Stalin era communism. It's just everybody gets, to help and, re and we're all realizing, oh, we all need, we're all dependent, we're all, we, we all need to help each other. Workers are important. Just glad we can help. Free Idaho potatoes are feeding people at home across the United States. This came out April 26th. It's a feel good story. And this is, this is just one area, but I also wanna talk about a thing I just saw announced by uh, the governor of California, Gavin Newsom. So we've all seen the videos of like, because no one's going to restaurants, right? The only way people are eating is grocery stores. So all these farmers who's like a big part of their demand was for, for big restaurant chains, right? Buying, you know, whatever, McDonald's is gonna buy a million potatoes to make all their French fries or whatever. So what has happened it's pretty much nationwide, is farmers, 50% of their demand just ended overnight with the quarantine. So they're having to waste food, which is like unbelievable. There's people starving, there's people, so what do we do? So a bunch of farmers, potato farmers in Idaho just said, wait a minute, we got stacks of, I mean, just like <laughs> truckloads of potatoes just sitting there, let's get them to people. They put a thing on, I'm gonna get into it, in Idaho, Ryan Craner took, Cranny, sorry, I put those together, that was my fault. Ryan Cranny took to Facebook and put out a call for anyone to come get surplus potatoes for free. He just said, I, gotta, I don't wanna see food go to waste. And, you know, take it for free and if you wanna donate, great. So people are like, helping each other out, it's fantastic. I lost a bunch of road work and all of you have been helping me out. It's great, it's great. Because we can't rely on the federal government. So, so rather than store them, I decided to place them on the ground and give them away, Cranny said. So this Facebook thing went nuts, everyone started talking about it. Because there's people who are hungry, people, like imagine you just lost your job, you can't, the money's tight, and then here's a guy giving away free potatoes. That's awesome. That's like the ingenuity of the American people. What I'm seeing is the federal government not giving a damn. Both parties don't give a damn about us, but the American people and people all over the world, we're seeing this all over the world. Everyone's trying to help each other out. High school kids making masks. I saw a news story, this, this high school girl in Los Angeles saw online that deaf people, the masks, we're giving them a lot of anxiety because they're lip readers, right? So if I, if, you know, a deaf person that is in contact with someone who doesn't know sign language, they know how to read lips, so everyone's walking around with a mask. So this teenage girl started making masks where she cuts holes out and then puts like a plastic shield so it's still doing the job of the mask, but the, the, the deaf person can read lips. And I just was like, oh my God, I get to see people smile because I'm riding around and on my bike and I'm at the store and I see someone and I, I'm trying to just put a smile on and they're not seeing it. Like, ah, that's just some high school kid thought of that. Saw, this, saw these deaf people on, on social media going, this is scary for us. We can't read lips. We don't know what's going on. We can't hear. Most people don't sign. And a kid came up with that. And then these farmers in Idaho. We've done about eight, thousand hundred pound bags at 10 pounds per person and that is about to feed 70 to 80 thousand different families and word got out like people sent trucks as i mean there was trucks going you read the whole story i'll put the link in the show notes it's just heartwarming 
people sent a truck from the East Coast, from New York, from anywhere where there's like, oh, well, like food pantries. It's amazing. Everyone that has come to get potatoes, to give to someone else, and that's what has made the experience fun for me to see, Cranny said. Yeah, that wasn't, it was people going, oh, I'm going to get these for somebody else. Like, I'm able-bodied and this, there's this, you know, senior citizen center and they, they can't go out. It's not safe for them to go outside because we don't want them to get it. So I grabbed a couple bags of potatoes for them. You know, there's stuff like that. They've had these drives in LA for, you know, they've shut down this, the public schools, obviously, as they have everywhere. And a lot of low-income families, that's where the kids get their meals. So how do they get their meals? Obviously, the federal government's not going to help us. But here's a thing that they came up with in the state of California. California has the fifth largest economy in the world. It feeds the world. We are like, there's a saying, if you eat a salad in America, there's a 50% chance it probably came from California. Most of the stuff came from California, right? So again, all the California farmers, 50% of their demand got cut. They didn't want to waste stuff. So this woman who's the California Secretary of Agriculture, most governors have a cabinet similar to the presidential cabinet. Obviously not as big, you don't need all of these offices, but there is a Secretary of Agriculture for the state of California that answers to the governor. And this woman, I believe, used to be the lieutenant governor and she's been trying to get programs for years of like farmers wasting, they, they, if they got crops that are getting wasted, let's give them to food banks and at-risk people and stuff like that. Well, one of the things Gavin Newsom said, and again, I've been critical of him, he signed, he approved 24 fracking permits April 3rd during the middle of this pandemic. Just so I'm not saying he should be president, but he is also doing some things that a, that a leader should do. And in the way that the corporate, the greedy people, and the, the Senate and the Congress, you know, the Wall Street took advantage of this to get $4 trillion, there's opportunities to take advantage of the situation for good things. So they've been trying to bridge the gap between farmers that are, have, have excess and food banks and at-risk people how do we connect those together? Well, the bureaucracy takes forever. And, he, and Gavin Newsom was like, we've been trying to get stuff like this going for years and it's always slowed down. Now, in the middle of the pandemic, let's make it happen. So what the federals is, so these farms are getting a 15% tax break for giving out the food. And they're also giving, getting like a couple hundred dollars per, per thing they give out. So the farms are like, they got hit hard financially because there's not the demand. So now they're going to get a little bit of a tax break from the feds and they're going to get some cash from the state of California and all these food banks and all these people, because here's what happened. This is according to the Gavin and Newsom. <clears throat> the demand, agricultural demand dropped 50%. Food bank requests, people needing food went up 73%. And it, happened overnight, just zoom. So they, they figured it out. Because I think, I personally think wasting food is a sin. I think it's a sin. <laughs> I, this was drilled into my head by my vegetarian parents as a kid growing up. It's a sin. I think wasting food is a sin. If I have extra food, I try to give it to the homeless people here. That's why I compost so that food scraps and it makes the best soil anyway. So if you're going to home garden, by all means, compost. But it's crazy that our capitalist system, they're, they're paid to throw food away when there's people starving. So they're bridging this. They're using this pandemic to actually get legislation passed so much faster. This is how taking advantage of a situation for good things and people getting creative and figuring out how we can do this. The farmer gets help, the hungry person, the hungry family gets help. The at-need community, the at-risk, you know, communities get helped. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that society and working together? A whole state coming together? Idaho farmers coming together, helping people all over the country? That's the kind of stuff that we need to take as this pandemic ends forward. We need to take it forward with homelessness, with food insecurity, and with the environment. Thanks for watching. Shave your knuckles for, for justice.
Hey everybody, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button and the subscribe button, even if you've done it before because they're unsubscribing many of you every day. Watch the ads all the way through. If you click skip ad, I don't get paid. Also, support us at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. Rockfin.com is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. All my videos are on Rockfin ad free. Thanks for watching.